you just never anticipate um, life-changing information to come out of one of these little doctor visits. I knew something was wrong when the doctor left and the physical didn't just continue. There's just so many negative thoughts that just drain you in your brain. Um, I didn't know what was, what was to come. I've been playing football all my life. Growing up, like, I was wearing, I was wearing Breeze jerseys, Graham jerseys, right? Anyone who ever grows up within 100 miles of this place wants to be in this uniform. I got a phone call, you know, when I thought it was a possibility that, you know, I, I could, could be in that number um, with the Saints. And um, I got a phone call from Derek Carr. He said, man, I, I so I've spoke with you a couple of times. I didn't, I didn't know that this might be a possibility. Let's link up, talk to me about what you're thinking heading into this decision that you might have to make. Entertaining the fact that that could be a possibility, linking up back with my old quarterback, uh, was, was pretty entertaining for me. I'm going through this, this physical, my second physical of the free agency period, and um, they find this enlarged lymph node, right? And, uh, I had known that it was there for some time, but I didn't really think anything of it. Um, I remember thinking three weeks prior to free agency, I felt it and I said, you know, it feels a little inflamed. If it is anything, I'm sure they'll find it during my physicals. Um, spoken right into existence. Well, at first I said, look, I'm feeling something here. I didn't say what I was feeling. I'm feeling something that is uh, uh, unusual and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a CAT scan of your chest and neck area. Um, and that is not something we do on a routine physical at all. And so I think at first uh, Foster was like, uh, that's a little unusual, but I uh, wasn't terribly concerned. Um, we got the CAT scan right away. It was actually a Saturday morning. I was able to do it within about 20 minutes. At that point, we knew there was, there was a problem here. And, uh, we suspected lymphoma, which would be the most common thing in someone Foster's age. I had a limited amount of knowledge of cancer, but I knew what lymphoma was, right? So I'm hearing this and I'm like, okay, it's a, it's a maybe, it's a possibility, right? There's still a chance. I'm, but at this point, I, I kind of have to start taking a step back. Um, and the way I look at things is I had to take the emotion out of it and I just had to start listening so that I could communicate the information effectively. And of course, early on, before I knew um, what my cell type was, before I knew what stage I was at, um, of course, the fear of the worst possible outcomes also comes into my brain. I didn't know what was, what was to come. Well, it was stage two Hodgkin's lymphoma, um, but the favorable thing was that it was a type of Hodgkin's lymphoma that um, is um, uh, relatively uncommon, about 5% uh, of Hodgkin's lymphoma or lymphocy lymphocyte predominant, and it um, can be managed without using really cytotoxic and uh, difficult kind of chemotherapy that that um, really causes weight loss and hair loss and, and uh, um, just uh, does a, a number on you for some time. So he was able to get therapy for this that uh, allowed him actually to continue with his strength training and, and, and really um, uh, very favorable for him uh, in terms of being able to continue with his football career. The preparation for football was the only thing keeping my mind, you know, out of the darkness in a, in a weird way. I was so lucky that this organization kept me close through my process. Um, and I got, a, I got a call the day after I received the news from Mickey Luma saying, hey, we still, we still love you. We want you, as a, we want you here, right? You're going to be a saint regardless of how long it takes for you to be healthy. Uh, and for me, if that, if that like, I, I can't even begin to describe to you, like, the weight that was lifted off of my shoulders, um, it, it, was, it was tremendous.
tremendous. And once I got my, my last PET scan back and saw that um, everything was so greatly diminished and there was nothing really highlighted on there, um, I, I, I mean, I broke down, broke down. God is good. So I think that um, it, uh, it made um, things easier for him, that he's in his hometown, um, and uh, to get the support that anybody would need uh, in this process to be where your family is and where your community is is, is, is hugely important. I do all these things for my body, right? And then I get a lymphatic-based nerve cancer. It could happen to anyone. It, it could happen to anyone. No matter how much work you do, no matter how many greens you eat, um, it, it really, it truly could happen to anyone. And there's no tell of, of how it comes, where it comes, where it's going to come from. Um, stay vigilant for your own sake and for the people around you that, that love you dearly.